We are honored to have our host city mayor join us today, Mayor Kasim Reed. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm delighted you're here, and I'm delighted the conference is here. Well, great. We are talking, of course, about brownfields, and we want to relate that to Atlanta because mm -hmm. that is of the utmost importance in this city. And you're in the midst of what is being called one of the most ambitious projects in all of the nation, the Beltline Project. Absolutely. So yeah. explain why the brownfields play such an important role. Well, because the Beltline fundamentally is a 22-mile railroad track that was abandoned. So naturally you have a series of remediation issues that are related to that. Uh, we are attempting to preserve 1,200 acres of green space. Uh, we are creating walk uh, walk past that we believe when we're done will run and connect 45 neighborhoods. Uh, we've leveraged about $700 million in private investment today. We have an NGO arm that's raised about $40 million in private philanthropy, headed towards $60 million in private philanthropy. And really just across the spectrum, uh, it is our tool for sustainability and reclamation. And would you say the environment for funding these projects is getting easier or more difficult? I think it is certainly, I wouldn't use the word easier. I think that you have a greater opportunity to make your case now. Um, people are listening. There's a genuine interest uh, in brownfield remediation. And because cities are surging, and I think that cities is where all of the action is, 75% of the country's population lives in cities, that the land inside of cities is becoming more valuable. So remediation, which may have been cost prohibitive in the past, those costs are going down. And then people's desire to live in cities is making uh, the investment from the private sector more attractive. So when you look at one of our, our major efforts involving a property called City Hall East, a two million square foot property built in the 1920s with a number of issues on one of our most important commercial corridors. That building had been shuttered. Uh, it was acquired uh, in a partnership with the city by Jamestown Properties, which developed Chelsea Market in New York. And we're now moving forward with a quarter of a billion dollars in investment. It connects to the Atlanta Beltline East Side Trail. We opened the East Side Trail about eight months ago. The use of that has been 300% of what we believed it would be at the time that we opened it. That connects to what would have simply been a retention pond, but instead of turning it into a retention pond, we built a $35 million park uh, to hold um, our excess water and water runoff. So all of these things are about sustainability. They're about reclamation and, and using our land more thoughtfully and more wisely uh, and taking advantage of an asset that had laid dormant for decades. Now these are big city issues. What advice do you have for the rural mayors out there? Um, I think rural or urban, you've got to care about sustainability and you've got to care about your environment and having a, a clean environment. It doesn't matter if you're a big city or, or small town mayor. You want uh, your people to have a high quality of life. And to the extent uh, that you address brownfield issues, directly take it on, don't hide it, put all the facts out on the table, you're going to have a stronger, healthier community. And I think that that story is true um, whether you're in a city like Atlanta um, or a city like Valdosta. Now that you've been through the brownfields process, what do you wish that you knew a few years back that you could pass on to people who are just now delving into this? Uh, just how important it is to have uh, the right talent around you. Uh, because as the leader of the city, you, know, you have a finite amount of time to govern. So to the extent that you select the right people who have experience in the space and have a passion uh, around this issue, it allows you to move faster. The maximum amount of time that I would be allowed to serve as mayor is eight years, two four-year terms. So to the extent that you can attract best-in-class, talented people to come and help you with the effort, that cuts down the amount of time uh, that you lose. It allows for faster progress, uh, and the communities are healthier and stronger as a result of ad addressing brownfield issues. Great. Mayor Kasim Reed, thank you so much for taking no, the time to speak you. with us. Thank you.